f x plus f dash x dx integral. What is the answer? e power x f of x. So, what is the answer here? Given integral will become what? e power x into f x. What is f x? Log of secant x. This is the second question on e power x f x plus f dash x. Now, we will take up the third question. Third question we will take up. Question number 3. Integral e power x into 1 plus x log x by x dx. Solution here. What is the solution e power x into break up this function. Here there are two expressions divided by 1. So, for each you write the same denominator 1 by x, x by x goes log x dx. Now, derivative of 1 by x, how much is that? Minus 1 by x square. What is the derivative of log x? Derivative of log x is 1 by x. So, f x will become uh, log x. So, f dash x will become 1 by x. So, e power integral e power x f x plus f dash x dx formula I am writing which is equal to e power x plus into f x plus c right. Therefore, given integral will become given integral value will become e power x log x that is the question number 3. We are taking up question number 4. Question number 4 is e power x into x plus 1 by x plus 2 whole square integral dx. This is the question number 4. Now, here in the solution, earlier questions you are having the standard form of integral e power x into f x plus f dash x dx is coming out as e power x f x plus c straight away. Here some adjustments are needed. What are those adjustments you check? e power x. One thing is very clear. What is clear? x plus 1 is here. x plus 2 is here. So, preferably you want x plus 2 in the numerator also. So, you will write x plus 2 by x plus 2 whole square. Actually, x plus 2 is not available x plus 1 is available. So, what you will write minus 1 by x plus 2 whole square dx. So, that this plus 2 and minus 1 will be give you back 1. Now, x plus 2 and x plus 2 will go. So, this is equal to e power x into 1 by x plus 2 minus 1 by x plus 2 whole square dx which is this is f x and this is f dash x. So, f x by f x into e power x. So, e power x by x plus 2 plus integrating constant c that is the answer. Now, we will take up the next question, question number 5, question number 5. integral e power x 1 minus sin x by 1 plus cos x dx. This is also in the shape of in the shape of e power x f x plus f dash x dx. What is the answer? e power x f x plus c. Now, adjustment is also needed. Integral e power x 1 minus sin x as it is you write by 1 plus cos x. 1 plus cos x is nothing but 2 cos square x by 2. Now, next step is e power x into 1 by 2 cos square x by 2 minus 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 divided by 2 cos square x by 2 right dx dx now cos x by 2 cos x by 2 part will go 
2 part and 2 part will go. So, this is equal to integral e power x 1 secant square x by 2 1 by 2 minus tan x by 2 minus tan x by 2. Now, here minus tan x by 2. Here this tan x by 2 derivative is half secant square x by 2, but this minus adjustment is not there. So, let us modify the question to form into this one 1 plus sin x plus here plus here. Now, what is the derivative of tan x by 2? Now, derivative of tan x by 2 is secant x square by 2 into half. So, the answer is e power x secant x by 2 that is the answer. Yes, if it is minus you may not get the f dash x plus f x model. Okay, this concludes this particular problem and also we are winding up the particular format. Around 5 questions we have done, those 5 questions are illustrate the required, required concept. We already did 6 uh, important integrals. To go with along these 6, uh, there are 3 more integrals. I am deriving those 3 integrals. These 3 integrals depend upon integration by parts. The first integral as such, the first integral is integral root over integral root over a square minus x square dx. What is the formula say? x by a, x by a root over a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a. That is the formula. Now, here solution I will do integral root over a square minus x square into 1 dx is equal to x into a square minus x square x into a square minus x square minus minus then again what we should do we should take up the integral of x into derivative of this we should take up what is the derivative of that minus 2x by root over a square minus x square dx okay then what we have x into root over a square minus x square minus the derivative of this minus can be adjusted now this minus and existing minus will become plus. So, 2 x square you have 2 into x square ok, but I want under root a square minus x square is available in the denominator I want a square minus x square. So, what I write here 1 minus I write here and 1 minus x square I write there and 1 a square. Check what we are writing here by root over a square minus x square. Extra what I have written is there. What I have written there extra this minus 2 a square extra. Yes, minus 2 a square is extra. Minus 2 x square minus into minus plus 2 x square is available. So, what I should write integral a square by root over a square minus x square dx I should write. Now, this part will become what? This part will go 1 times. So, x into root over a square minus x square minus when your deriv derivative is performed 1 2 is also going to come here 1 by root x derivative is how much root x derivative d by dx of root x how much? 1 by 2 root x. So, this 2 and this 2 part will go and uh, here the 2 will not be left over. So, x into under root a square minus x square minus